Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Balancing Life with Brie. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Brie. I've lost 75 pounds doing Weight Watchers and what's called Healthy now. It used to be called I Track Bites. I'm on their calorie counting program right now and I am maintaining slash still losing weight doing that. Today, I wanna to show you guys some really cool desserts that I'm gonna be making. It's actually Sunday night. I'm gonna be meal prepping all my desserts and some breakfast throughout the week. My main goal for this next upcoming few months is to get as much protein I can in my diet. So if I can make a dessert out of it, why not? So this is the protein powder that I use. This is the Bellway plant protein. I've used this for a while now. I have a video making overnight oats with it. I'm going to make overnight oats with it again today. They did actually give me a code because they reached out to me after they saw my video using this. So I do have a code with them now if you guys are interested. I will put it on the bottom of the screen to save you guys some money. But this is the protein powder that I've been using for months. So it just kind of worked out, which is nice. So I'm going to show you how to make chocolate brownies, but I'm actually making them a little like um, donut tins. I'll show you guys. But basically, I'm just going to do a voiceover for this recipe so you can see how I make it. And yeah, let's just jump right into the first recipe is some yummy protein packed brownies. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how to make these protein packed brownies. When you split it up to about eight brownies, they're about 140 calories each and four points or bites depending on your plan. Ingredients are different on the new WW plans or points are different for everybody. So just keep that in mind. Make sure to plug those in to get your accurate amounts. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need one cup of pumpkin puree. I went ahead and put all of this in my KitchenAid mixer. You're going to need a half a cup of any type of peanut butter. I use the Jif Naturals. I feel like you could probably use PB2 as well to kind of lower the calories and points if you're worried about that. A fourth a cup of cocoa powder, which I would pull back on next time I make these, I would probably put about an eighth a cup instead of a fourth a cup. Two scoops of protein powder, I'm using my Bellway chocolate protein powder, and one teaspoon of stevia. You're gonna mix all that up, and it's a really weird consistency, guys. I'm not even gonna fib to you. It is very strange consistency. I kinda just like pressed it into the donut tins, but they turned out very, very well. They taste like soft brownies once they're out of the oven and they're really, really delicious. Okay, so my protein donut brownie, drowny, I don't know, the mixture is currently in the oven and I'm going to prep my overnight oats. So for today's overnight oats, I'm gonna make a mocha coffee overnight oat and I'm very excited about it. I kind of just like, I'm kind of winging it. I'm kind of making this one up. So I'm very, very excited. All my overnight oat recipes that I've like, just winged low key not to pat myself on the back but they came out pretty good so i'm excited for this one so i'm gonna do one with cold brew coffee and we're just gonna see sometimes you need that extra pick me up in the morning and i want it protein pack so let's just get right into making that i will have the recipe in my description box for you guys and i'll also talk over the recipe while i make it but let's get into it okay so i had these oats this morning for breakfast and they were seriously a 10 out of 10 would recommend so what I did is I started off with a cup of old-fashioned oats. That's how I start all of my overnight oats. I pretty much use a cup of oats every single time. I added three tablespoons of Starbucks vanilla cold brew coffee. I feel like you could probably add a little bit more if you wanted to just for extra liquid. I did end up adding a little bit more milk at the end. I should have probably added more coffee instead of milk, but I will do that for next time. So I also, after that, you're going to put in a cup of any type of milk that you want. You can use skim milk, almond milk, whatever, oat milk. I just use skim milk because that's what I had in the fridge. So I put a quarter cup of skim milk, two tablespoons of my Bellway chocolate protein powder, and one teaspoon of the vanilla jello seasoning. Not seasoning, but mix. You guys know what I mean. I always call it the wrong thing. But put all that in there mix it up. I always like to mix my oats before I put them in the fridge because I like everything to just come together and like sit together overnight. But like I said, these were really, really, really good. I'd add probably a little bit more coffee next time if you want to make these oats, but really protein packed, really kept me full all morning. I definitely would recommend making these. Depending on the ingredients that you decide to use, it's going to be roughly around four points or bites and around 172 calories. Okay, so I just took the brownies out and they are cooling and now I have to make my ice cream. So I went ahead and pre-froze four bananas. So this is going to be a chocolate banana ice cream that I'm going to be making. So I'm going to chop these babies up off camera 
and I'll just show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna make sure to have the calories at the bottom or give or take roughly close to the calories in points. Should be very, very low in points for the, those of you who are on Weight Watchers or healthy doing points. But all you're gonna need for this is literally bananas, protein powder, a little bit of milk, some stevia, and that's it. So I'm gonna get going and I will do a voiceover over everything that I'm doing. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is take your frozen bananas. Word to the wise, I had these in the freezer for two hours and the peel, the skin, I don't know, was extremely hard to get off the banana. So I would definitely recommend in the future to peel the bananas before you freeze them. Just a thought, I was struggling. I slowly but surely figured out how I needed to fix it. So basically I just cut the bananas, took my knife, peeled it around the edges, and then put all of that in my blender. So I did have four bananas that I cut up and went ahead and threw in my blender. After that, I added one scoop of my protein powder. I used the chocolate. Next time, I'll probably do two scoops. It was good, but for me, it was too banana-y. You guys know, if you've been around for a while, I am not the biggest fan of bananas. So, you know, your girl tries. It's like a texture thing, but I would probably add more protein powder next time. You're going to need a quarter cup of stevia, and I used about four tablespoons of skim milk. The skim milk just kind of makes it a little bit more creamier and easier to blend, but you can use any kind of milk that you want for that. So depending on what program you are on, the points in this are probably going to vary a little bit. So I have this as a serving size for three people, one point, and about 211 calories. The bulk of the calories just comes from the banana, so I don't even feel bad about that at all. Okay, so Scott's going to try the ice cream because I don't really like bananas that much, so he's going to try it because he loves bananas. So we're going to see if he likes it or not. Mmm. Oh, that's good. What's it taste like? It's mostly bananas, but there's a... But there's like a hint of chocolate? There's a hint of chocolate. Would you do more protein powder next time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So note that, people. If you want it more chocolatey, add more protein powder, but... I mean, he's a garbage disposal, he'll eat anything, but he really likes it. So, all right, cool. Now I'm gonna try one of the donuts, and I already know the oats taste good because I tasted them, like I like the spoon, it was super, super good. So I'm gonna try one of these donuts, give me my honest review, and I'll be right back. Okay, so he's gonna taste test this one with me, so I split it in half. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a little, like I said, I put in the donut thing, but I put sprinkles on it. So take your half, here we go. Cheers. I'm not Cheers. gonna eat the whole thing at once. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. I think next time I'll use less cocoa powder because I'm using the chocolate protein mix. But it's like a gooey brownie. That's really good. I think if you added some like fat-free ready whip on top, it would be even better. But that's not bad. So, alright. I'm here for this. Anyway. Okay, so those are the three desserts slash sweeter protein snacks. I'm still going to be eating the rest of this. But like I told you guys earlier, I'm trying to really get back into getting more protein in my diet. And this protein powder does that for me. There's 20 grams of protein per scoopy scoop. So let's just add that to my protein and off I go. Anyway, so if you guys like videos like this, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite protein snacks or your favorite Weight Watcher or calorie conscious desserts. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Also, I do run a Facebook group with Jennifer and Roy. I'll put their information down at the bottom and I'll put that Facebook group in the description box. Come hang out with us. We post our videos, other content, people ask questions. It's just like a big forum where we all talk to each other. But if you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe down below. And as always, I want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop lock and drop those pounds. Bye guys.